this video will um, do a calculation for resolving power for an opening, a circular opening. Uh, one calculation will involve an eye without any optical aid, and the other calculation, a four-inch telescope. We're going to look at the moon with our eye and with the telescope, and we're interested in how big are the objects on the moon that we see. Um, another way to ask this, or you know, for stars on the sky or things on the moon, how far apart would two objects have to be to see two distinct objects? So we'll talk about uh, an object on the moon. If it's if it's smaller than our, our resolving angle, uh, then we won't see it as a separate object. It'll blend in with nearby objects. Um, so we calculate this using the Rayleigh criterion that this uh, resolving power angle, the minimum angle for that the objects have to be in size, or two objects have to be separated by this angle, that minimum angle is 1.22 times the wavelength of light that we're using, divided by the diameter of the objective. This for a refracting telescope would be the first lens that the light comes through, or for a reflecting telescope, it's our main mirror. Uh, the diameter of the objective. The objective is the uh, main part of the telescope that's collecting light. Well, I looked on, online at this. The National Institute of Health, uh, NIH.gov, gives the diameter of a typical uh, pupil of a dark adapted eye about six millimeters. You know, 15 minutes or so after you've been in darkness, uh, your pupil will open up to, and this is sort of an average human eye, it's not every human eye, to about six millimeters. So we're going to use that for the diameter of our objective. We're going to use 500 nanometers for the, uh, the wavelength of light. That's sort of the middle of the sun spectrum. So 500 nanometers will be our lambda value. Uh, so we'll calculate theta, and then we'll apply that to the moon. S is the arc length of a circle. So this will be where the moon is, the surface of the moon. Theta will be the angle we calculate using the Rayleigh criterion as to how big an object has to be or how far apart two boulders have to be that see them as separate boulders on the moon, or how far apart in angle two stars have to be uh, to be seen as separate stars. R is the distance from the observer to where we're looking. So for us, it'll be the distance. We'll use the distance of Earth to Moon, and I won't bother correcting for the radius of the Earth. Um, the distance from the Earth to Moon is significantly bigger than the radius of the Earth, so I won't, won't bother doing that little correction. If you want to, that's fine. Use a different value for R if you're looking at the Moon uh, at the, when it's on the meridian and not at the horizons. It's getting too technical. So let's go into our calculation here. What's the smallest object on the moon when we're using, we can see clearly resolved as a distinguishable object resolved by the dark adapted eye. So first we need to calculate our theta. So our theta is 1.22, 500 times 10 to the minus 9. I'm going to use standard metric units, so I'm switching nanometers to meters. And then we divide by 6 millimeters, but again, I need standard metric units, so it's 6 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. Then my meters will cancel off, and I'll get radians for the result here. You should do this uh, calculation on your own. I came up with 1.017 times 10 to the minus 4 radians. Radian is a mathematical unit of angle that's uh, required for this formula. So that's the radian angle. <clears throat> now also for this central angle formula, S equals R theta, radians are also required. So I'd, I'm not going to shift it to degrees. There's about 57 degrees in one radian. But I'm not going to bother to convert to degrees. Instead, let's go ahead and calculate um, using the distance to the moon. 3.84 times 10 to the eighth meters. I want meters here, so the S will come up in meters. Um, you could use other units if you wish. Kilometers is not a bad choice to use as well, but I'm going to use meters. 
So calculating the uh, size of a single crater or the distance between two boulders, uh, whatever you are trying to resolve, I'm going to use s equals r theta. r is 3.84 times 10 to the 8th meters distance from the Earth to the Moon. And I put in my angle, the theta, 1.017 times 10 to the minus 4 radians. And this produces 3.9 times 10 to the 4th meters, 39,000 meters. That's the smallest that we can resolve. And I think I'll go ahead and convert this into miles. So for one mile, we've got 1609 meters. So doing the division here, we'll cancel off the meter unit and change 39,000 to 24 miles, approximately, rounding off a little bit. So with your eye, if you have a perfect night of uh, looking at the moon, clear skies, and so forth, the smallest feature that you can see is 24 miles across. Now, as you can notice here, if the diameter is larger, then theta will be smaller. If theta is smaller, then the uh, size of the object we can see clearly is also smaller. We can see more detail on the moon. So let's use a 4-inch telescope, 4-inch diameter, commonly called a 4-inch telescope, but this refers to the diameter of the uh, objective. So first thing I would notice here is we're in inches here, but I want to use standard metric uh, units. So we need to convert the inches into meters. So 4 inches times 0 0.0254 meters for 1 inch. It's a conversion. And we end up with 0 0.1016 meters, roughly 10 centimeters, but that number of meters. So that's our, uh, our situation. So let's calculate the theta. The theta would be 1.22, 500 times 10 to the minus 9 meters divided by 0 0.1016 meters. And then we'll again come up with a uh, number of radians here. And I came up with 6 times 10 to the minus 6 radians. And doing the uh, uh, s equals r theta now, if we do our calculation, and I might be running off the end of the paper here, but s equals r theta. Again, we have 3.84 times 10 to the 8th meters, but now a smaller angle, 6 times 10 to the minus 6 radians. And we end up with a, a smaller number of meters, 2304 meters and converting that to miles dividing by 1609 1.4 miles across so by the use of a, a telescope you can now see craters as small as 1.4 miles across i don't know that there are any boulders 1.4 miles across laying on the surface of the moon but uh, talking about craters that's what you could resolve now a little bit interesting here to work with this angle theta for the telescope if i do want to convert this into degrees then I would convert degrees to radians using the fact that um, there are pi radians. Oops, sorry. I did a different conversion on my page here. Um, there are pi radians in 180 degrees. I need radians on the denominator to cancel radians in the numerator over here. And that would produce a, a, a certain angle for our um, telescope that's 3.44 times 10 to the minus 4 degrees. 3.44 times 10 to the minus 4 degrees. And we're going to convert that into arc seconds. Into arc seconds. To do that, I multiply by 3600 arc seconds for 1 degree. This is kind of similar to the time where the degrees are kind of like the hours, and there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. Uh, one degree, 60 arc minutes in one degree.
degree, 60 arc seconds and one arc minute. So it ends up with the same number of 3600. And what it produces is this theta is 1.24 arc seconds. 1.24 arc seconds for a four inch telescope. This is typical of uh, the quality limit of observing through our atmosphere if you don't have special equipment. Our atmosphere is turbulent and those cells of uh, motion and different density in our atmosphere act like a lot of lenses and causes twinkling of stars, causes twinkling, a shifting around of the light as it goes through our atmosphere. And that is on the order of an arc, a few arc seconds. So if you don't have some extra auxiliary equipment to cancel off the effect of twinkling due to the atmosphere, um, you're not going to be able to see more details on the moon or between stars, what have you, um, by using a telescope that has a diameter larger than four inches. Four inches is about the practical limit for uh, seeing details. Now, larger telescopes will make things brighter, but as far as seeing details, it's not going to help with uh, standard optics and not special optics and equipment to cancel off twinkling. So there you have it. Uh, with our eye, we can see objects about 24 miles in size as the smallest size on the moon. With a four inch telescope, we could see an object that's 1.4 miles, about a mile and a half across on the moon for our smallest size. Ask your instructor if you have questions.